answer Aaron's question regarding lighting for high key. Um, if you're lighting a headshot and you've got white, and you've got white behind them, but then when you move to full length, sounds like you're getting gray and shadows and things. Um, so, what we what, on lighting white to get white, we have to light the entire background. I'll show you what we've got set up in our studio. We have. Well, we're going to mount these in the ceiling, but what we're currently doing is using 16 inch parabolics and you have to feather this light almost like an X where they cross all the way across the background. So I've got one on this side of the background. I'm going to have a light on this side of the background feathered across the entire background. So this, this light is actually aimed towards this corner of the background where this light is aimed towards this corner of the background. What we want to do, if we're doing a full length shot, we've got to have even illumination across the background. If, this, if we only had this light, we're going to have white here, but as the light falls off, it gets darker, it's two stops less over here, it's going to gradually, we're going to have a, a gradient from white to gray and eventually black with it, where it ends up with no light. So what we have to do is Put one light on each side of the background, aim them across the background so that we have even illumination across the background. When metering for white, now obviously it depends on what your f-stop is for the, for the subject. Um, it used to be in the film days, you were one and a half to two stops more light than the exposure for the subject. So if we were shooting uh, f11 on our subject, we would have to be F22 on the background. With digital, the easiest way that I've found to do it, because we know in Photoshop, white is 255 without detail, is we actually shot tethered in the old studio, we shot tethered into the back, into the computer, and just took the eyedropper, and you know, you're gonna be just over 11, um, and you know, we, first thing we did is make sure that we have even light across, and then just took the eyedropper and measured. If you've got 255 on the background with the eyedropper tool across in even light, it's going to be white without detail. So you don't have to have two stops more light because what that does is if you have two stops more light, now we have a problem, if, especially if you're working in a small room um, or in your house, you've got light bouncing back. So we could have, if we've got F22 hitting the uh, background, we could have F11 or F16 returning to the subject, bouncing off of this background, returning to the subject. Now this whole background is acting like a, a large softbox and the light's bouncing back. So we don't want any more light returning to the subject than we have to. Now if you're fortunate enough to work in a large studio and you can get them further away from the background, then obviously this light's not going to return all the way out here. You don't have to worry about all that light bouncing back, but in a small space, you don't want to hit this thing with any more light than you have to because it's going to bounce back into the set. Um, what we've done or what we're doing this week in the new studios, we've actually bought these uh, little clamps that mount to the ceiling. So we will permanently mount these heads in the ceiling so that they are feathered across, they're perfectly metered, and then every time we want white, we're just going to go flip the switch and the lights, the lights are going to come on. We built a little cove in the studio so that you know, it's seamless. We want white. We flip the switch. It's already going to be metered. All we'll have to do is set up the main light and the fill light. Um, so that's pretty much it for high key lighting. You know, the, it uh, just needs to be even illumination all the way across the background. Again, take the, take it into, open up the file in Photoshop, tape your eyedropper and measure that background, it's 255, it's white without detail, you won't have any shades of gray or anything in there at all. So hopefully that helps you out.